Hello traders, this is Chris from Lee Currency with a new video on the euro dollar and pound dollar for the rest of the week. I did want to address, first of all, though, a quick question from our audience, how to get SWAT 2.0. So basically, you need to open an account through us with key to markets broker KTM. And you can do that on this page or the link in the description box. And uh, you need to deposit $800 and uh, start trading. All right. So that's the only thing pretty sweet and simple basically and uh, SWAT 2.0 I think will be well worth that effort uh, because you have tons of st uh, strategies and systems and methods and tools and a lot of educational videos and a lot of system videos so yes if you're interested in that uh, here's how you can do that you do need to deposit $800 open account through us some of you are asking how do I access that uh, or I've tried to access it you do have to deposit money uh, and open through us before you can access SWAT 2.0. All right, let's take a look at the markets now. The uh, daily candle just closed, and the daily candle close is near the high, so there was an immediate follow through to the upside, and not a small little pullback, in fact. Um, well, there was actually a little bit of pullback, uh, but minor one, and we got a continuation higher. So this is, uh, this is looking good for follow through, uh, bullish as we expected. And uh, I think the price is now going to be aiming for 116 and 11650 and later on even 11750, but probably not immediately. Let's take a look at that four hour chart. There was a small little pullback, as I mentioned earlier in the week, that was uh, right here as price was breaking above this. We had a little bit of consolidation uh, yesterday and today, as you can see. So there was a little bit of a pullback uh, down into 114, I think we did mention supported around 114 and at 113 uh, 65 70 it was the first support zone that got the bounce and uh, price went sideways and uh, this morning started to break uh, to the upside now my wave analysis leaned a little bit towards maybe from here a potential pullback but certainly the breakup was also possible and that's what we got uh, in the video earlier this week on monday we mentioned a clear support here at 114 and 113.70, and that is in that indeed exactly what happened. Prices uh, 130 pips away from that uh, support and bounce. So your dollar looking very bullish at this moment. I think that we're looking at uh, uh, a clear wave uh, five or an impulsive wave of wave three, perhaps uh, of some sort, wave five of three probably, because price is clearly breaking above this top. And we had a little bit of correction here, but those that, that's behind us now. This is a clear impulse since price rebroke above the 20 anyway here and has been riding the 20 way higher. I do think there is a fair chance of an immediate follow through. Let's take a look at the one hour chart uh, uh, towards this 116, 11650 zone. There could be some minor bull flag pattern uh, down to 115, maybe the 38.2 fib, which I suspect will be a bouncing spot here uh, for upside uh, towards this. Uh, this with seven and a 261.8 target, the minus 61.8 target here, confluence at around 116. That's where a bigger bull flag or triangle pattern could emerge uh, before, or even a small one with one more push to 116.50. There, at that spot, 116.50, we could see a bigger bull flag and then a follow through eventually to 117.50. Uh, perhaps let's take a look at the weekly chart because I just want to keep an eye on the bigger targets as well. And if we put a fib from here to here. Uh, you can see why 116 is so important as well. From another perspective, it's the 50 fib. Uh, and but eventually, if it breaks through that, it could go up to the 61.8 for uh, this uh, this 118.20 uh, zone. All right. So that's another reason uh, why that could be important. So let's go back now to four-hour chart, and we should see. There we go. Uh, we should see a uh, continuation, I think, either after some flag or a, yeah, or an immediate follow through. And I think this is some type of wave three right here. Wave three. A wave three like that, a four and, and a five, uh, probably to finish a wave three uh, of a higher degree like this. This three, four, five of three. And then we might get a bigger correction and then one more push higher. So something like that, up, correction up, and then a bigger correction. That's what I'm expecting. Some upside, certainly for the moment, 
Um, and we might see uh, some good targets in play at this point. And looking for uh, consolidations to, to trade to the upside. Depending on how this night develops, right, there could be a consolidation throughout the remainder of uh, the beginning of today until the London opens. So something like this could take place, for instance. Uh, and if it then breaks to the upside above the 20 we may, like that, that could be a good breakout from about 115.30 up to 116, I would say. All right. Let's now take a look at the pound USD. Here too, strong momentum, in fact, to the upside. And uh, price retracing after hitting 127.50, uh, 60th, uh, with a pullback to the 23.65, which so far has acted as a bouncing spot. So looking bullish as well, uh, clear hit of with seven though, but this is looking like a wave three as well. And this could be a wave four pattern in the morning. We might look at a, a small little triangle and that could be uh, ready for breakout to the upside. So certainly looking like a wave three, four uh, pattern on the pound with a wave five remaining to the upside. And uh, it should go, I think, to the next fib here at 128, uh, 128, 128, 25. If not further than that, let's take a look at the daily chart. Eventually, the 78.6 fit might be in play at 130. So here, too, looking pretty bullish with the dollar looking pretty weak at this moment. Triangle uh, break to the upside here. Uh, and I think there's a fair chance of a follow through and a flag and another follow through. This follow through may be on the hourly chart. So back to that hourly chart. If there's a if there's a triangle pattern or some kind of bull flag pattern, as long as price stays above the 38.2 fib and the 126.60, uh, or even to the 127 and the 23.6 fib, that is definitely bullish territory. Even the 50 fib and 126.25 is bullish. Only a break below that, uh, below the trend line and below the 144 MA would really change things and make uh, the perspective not bullish anymore. Otherwise, all of this is bullish territory, and um, just waiting for the you know, the corrective pattern to emerge to get a bit of a sentiment about which fib will be used. All right. If it's a, if it's a triangle, then probably the 23.6 fib. It's a, if it's a bull flag, then probably the 38.2 fib. And uh, maybe uh, the 50 fib would probably not be that likely in, in this scenario. But if it is used, that could still be a bouncing spot. Uh, major targets. Let's take a look at the daily chart here. Uh, 130, as I said, of course, be careful of 128 because of the previous uh, resistance, though. Uh, but ultimately, if this is starting to be a wave three, four, five, then 130 uh, is is possible eventually. Uh, but first, 128, 128, 25. That's it for now. We'll be back next week on uh, Monday, probably, with a new video and a new update on the euro dollar and pound dollar. Once again, uh, if you've already opened the account with Key Two Markets but you don't have access to SWAT 2.0 yet, just ask us what's, uh, what you need to do to uh, finalize that. It might be that you haven't deposited yet or you need to open the account through ECS uh, or you need to uh, verify the account. Just, just check with us or with the key to markets, of course, uh, maybe even better and uh, or both. That's it for now. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.